Hello and welcome, welcome, welcome. We have three super exciting opportunities for Amazon. Nope, I'm not talking about Amazon delivery. I am not talking about working in the factory. These positions are all going to be for the Amazon corporate side. So this is the side that everybody fights for. And I am a former Amazon corporate employee. So I am going to not only give you the positions that are currently hiring, but we're also going to talk about the salary for each of these positions and how to kind of get the higher end of these salaries. Yes, some of these salaries are going to be in the six figure range. So I have three different positions that I'll be going over. One is going to be more of a project manager role if you have experience in that. The second one is going to be a non-technical role um, for those that have experience in HR. And the third role is going to be for those that are technical at heart and want to have a more technical um, driven position. So let's hop right in. Let's look at the first role. Now, as an, a former Amazon employee, I know exactly what they look for when it comes to the interview process. And I am also going to be doing a resume demonstration to show you which words you'll want to put on your resume. 75% of um, applications get auto rejected, meaning you get that that super quick email time you hit submit that says you were not selected. And that is because people don't include the correct words. So I am going to talk to you about each of these job descriptions and which words you'll want to have in your resume along with the salary. Now for the resource manager, if you have ever worked in like staffing, you've ever been any type of manager, you've ever had to do like um, you know, recruiting, any type of um, resource coordinating, anything like that, this is going to be a really great role for you. Yes, it is a virtual role. Here is the job ID, 187-8603. Now they're saying we're looking for someone who is passionate about professional services business and someone that can ensure that the business can optimize its impact on customers. Now, customers isn't going to mean like the people buying things off amazon.com. Customers are going to be other technology companies. So you're kind of working with, you know, some big league, big dog people or whatever. And so it's not like you're talking to customers. This is, this, this role doesn't really require you to, you know, make a whole lot of phone calls. It's not like a phone role or anything. It's going to be more so kind of like project management and uh, staffing, if you have experience in staffing. So let's just talk about the basic qualifications. They say they want you to have six years of resource resource management experience or, or, or relevant professional services operations experience, sales operations, or human resources or logistics experience. So if you've got any type of that experience, any combination of it, that is totally fine. This whole undergraduate degree, they don't require that. There are, there's lots of people that work for AWS um, at Amazon that don't have degrees, but what they really care about is that you're a problem solver. You have excellent planning and organizational skills. You have written and verbal communication skills, and you have leadership negotiation and influence and conflict management skills. If you're a parent, <laughs> If you have kids, if you've ever worked as a teacher, you know, you already have those skills. So pretty much we all have those skills. And of course, they want you to be able to use things like Excel and just have a little bit of experience with forecasting um, processes and tools. Um, experience with Salesforce, that has to do with the whole forecasting thing. I did put a resource down in the description box with a video on what Salesforce is. It's just kind of like a ticketing system that they use to create tickets. And also it's used to staff people for different internal projects. It's very easy to use. Um, and they also will train you on it. They also have internal training um, videos and such that you can use. But this is a hot word to go on your resume, right? Now let's get into the pay range. It shows the pay range if you live in the state of Colorado as being 127 up to 171. Now, obviously where you live um, geographically, this number can be, you know, a lot more. 
Um, and it's going to be a lot more based on how well you do with the interview process. So you want to make sure that you familiarize yourself with, you know, things like Salesforce. Um, and another big thing that I will show you is going to be, this is your secret weapon, the Amazon leadership principles. These are big. They will 1000% ask you about their leadership principles in the uh, job interview. And I will put a link to this down in the description box so that you can kind of review this and understand how to use these principles in different examples of situations they're going to ask you about you know, at work, they may say, Hey, what did you do? Tell me about the time where you had to go above and beyond for a customer. It would be really great if you can use some of these words. Like I had to go above and beyond so that I could earn trust from this particular client, you know, things like that. So I've got that down there in the description box for you. Now let's talk about the hot words before we go to the next job. If I were going to submit for this role, I would make sure that I had ro like words like resource management in my particular resume, contract management, forecasting and reporting, negotiations, project management, consulting. These were all, now if you don't have all of these, it's okay if you just have a few of them. I'm gonna actually make this like that so you can see it. It's okay, you can replace these with some of the other words that they might have in their particular job role, but these I guarantee you are going to be hot words. Um, and again, you wanna make sure you have Salesforce in there because that is a software that they use for ticketing. And if I were going to write a professional summary, uh, this is going to be the example I use. And yes, this uh, resume, and the resume kit is going to be down in the description box if you just need this. I'm gonna do a special one for Amazon. So you would say with these hot words included, you're an IT consultant, you've got experience in managing teams, projects, staff members, um, you're familiar with consulting and strategic planning and how to grow and scale business operations. You want to support the professional services, sales and delivery practice, hot words, while leveraging the Amazon leadership principles. Also hot words. This is insider information. It does not get any better than this. Please don't lie on your resume about what your experience is. Please don't. These are just examples. Okay. But if you have this experience, make sure that you incorporate that with those hot words. Some of the other hot words are going to be tickets, contracts, training across time zones, Salesforce, escalated. These are all words that were found in the job description, right? And what they were looking for. So you want to make sure that you include that verbiage and a lot of that terminology to help your application get past that uh, tracking system. Now let's move on to our next role. Our next role is going to be kind of like an HR entry level role. So if you want to go into HR, this is going to be great. It is a seasonal HR contact center associate. And that person's going to work as part of the employee resource center disability and leave support. So you're basically going to be the person that's responsible to, for talking to employees that are going on leave or coming back from leave. Um, if there's paperwork they need to fill out, if there's a missing form that they need to fill out, you might email them those forms. They might email you something and say, hey, is this the right doctor's note that I need to have in order to take my FMLA leave? Um, or is there anything that I'm missing? That's pretty much what you're going to do um, in this particular role. So it says they provide accurate, consistent, and timely responses to inquiries across phone, web, and chat. Every time I communicated with this team when I took leave, it was email. So we did not talk on the phone at all. So there shouldn't be a whole lot of phone stuff, but going to the basic qualifications, they'd like you to have HR experience or customer service experience, some Microsoft office experience and a high school diploma. So to be fair, they're really not asking you to have a whole lot of experience. This is why it's a really great um, entry level position for those of you that want to go into HR. But if you don't, if, you, if you're just looking for a seasonal role, this is still something that you could easily qualify for with just a little bit of 
um, customer support or, you know, if you've ever worked in uh, billing support, um, anything like that. This is going to be a really great role. Now, they don't list the salary on here, but insider information tells me that this role is somewhere around $20 to $25 per hour, and it can go up based on how well you interview. So going back to our hot words, um, HR is going to be a hot word, uh, disability leave, services support, all hot words, right? Um our third and final role, again, a virtual role, this one is going to be a senior technical customer service specialist. Here is the job ID for you. Now, this role is going to be for those of you that have ever worked in any type of technical support. Um, if you've worked, you know, in a phone store, you know, like a cell phone store, you've worked for Verizon, AT&T, something like that. Or if you just did general customer support over the phones, this is going to be a really cool role for you. Their basic qualifications is going to be two years of technical experience working with computer systems two years of experience in customer service or a contact center role. Um, they want you to have at least one technology domain, cloud computing, internet, account management, or Amazon services. If you're a highly technical person, you already know what this kind of translates to. They want you to have pretty good communication skills and a high school diploma. So again, not asking a whole lot. You don't need 20 years of experience. Um, just they want you to have some basic technical support, uh, escalations um, support or escalations experience, I should say. Um, Microsoft Office and cross collaborating. The reason why I highlighted those words is because those are going to be your hot words, cross collaborating, um, web technologies, uh, escalations, right? Now the salary for this role is going to be between 65 to 125,000 per year. A sign on payment and restricted stock units may be provided. And I would just say, generally for Amazon, everybody gets a sign-on bonus. It can be as small as five thousand. Um, it can be as high as like thirty to forty thousand. So if you're going into this role, notice they want you to be a senior. So I would definitely be negotiating up to get closer to this hundred and twenty-five thousand um, dollar per year salary. But if you are newer, if you don't have as much experience, you might be on the lower end of this. Again, you're going to want to put those hot words into your resume. And I'll just quickly show you what that would kind of look like. For example, three. If um, you were going to do the HR role, this is kind of like what I would make sure I had in my professional summary, you know, leave of absence, disability accommodation, stuff like that. Um, but again, for anything technical, you just want to make sure you're calling out that you use, you know, their particular software, whether it's Salesforce, um, if you've done any type of tickets where you had to resolve customer escalations, you just want to make sure that you have those hot words in your resume. And again, this is going to be in the description box for anybody that needs it. Um, So there you have it, folks. You want to make sure that you have your resume up to date. You've got your hot words um, and that you know the Amazon leadership principles or at least print them out for when they call you in to do like a virtual interview. What I can say about Amazon's interview process is they move very quickly. So when you get that call from the recruiter, the recruiter is going to be like, uh, can you be available like end of this week? Um, so like, yeah, they, they want to move very quickly and they usually do like, you'll probably interview with between four to six people, like, you know, a 30 minute interview each. Sometimes they'll do like five interviews back to back in one day. Trust me, if you make it past the first one, then they pretty much want you badly um, and they'll advance you. But they usually want to get the interview process done as quickly as possible. My interview process was all of like a week. Like I talked to the, well, I submitted my resume. Um, I got a recruiter invite to do a phone screen. And then she scheduled me to do the interview loop, 
with, I think it was five different people in one day. So it was like a four hour interview, but they do let you take breaks in between. They definitely ask me questions about those Amazon principles and they like to interview using the STAR method. That is S-T-A-R, which stands for Situation, Task, Action, and Result. So please let me know if you apply for any of these roles. Make sure you're not like spamming Amazon with a whole bunch of different applications because that will get you kind of like ignored. You only want to apply to one, maybe two roles at the max um, per like 90 day period. So be very careful to make sure that you're applying to a role that you actually feel passionate about and that you actually want to do. Um, if you have any questions about the interview process or just about resumes, again, I have templates down below, um, but don't hesitate to leave me a comment. And I am wishing all of you good luck. So don't sleep on these opportunities. These are life changing. Like, you know, listen, the amount of money that they're offering for some of these roles is just like absolutely bananas. You know, up to 170, what could you do with that, right? So until then, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.